Today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at my entire baby collection, all the sneakers that I have accrued over the years, telling you a little bit about my backstory and as to why I think I should have all these shoes. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Now, if you haven't already, it's all good. I know you might be new to the channel, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Join the family. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know how your day is going. Everybody's cooped up in the crib. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and staying safe. Don't forget to wash your hands. But when you do, make sure your hands is clean when you hit that like button for the video. Don't forget to do that because that helps the algorithm oh so much. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video, bruh. So a lot of people always ask me the question, why do you have so many baby shoes in your collection? What is the point? And I tell them, one day when I have kids I'm going to be able to make sure that they're laced and if I can invest into things that I know gonna hold its value or gonna be worth something more down the road why not be able to pass that on to my children when they're born and have them looking fly while they're doing it some people don't know but there actually is a market for baby shoes I know it sounds wild but when you have OG shoes and samples and different exclusive colorways you gotta remember people want to make their kids match with themselves and all these different things so they buy the special outfits so they can look cool for Instagram or whatever it is that they're trying to do me personally I just want my kid to be fly I want them to have the best and I want to give them the best that I I can possibly offer to them and I know I don't have any kids right now but when I do I'm gonna make sure that they stay fresh so as you guys know throughout my whole life I've always had J's my parents have kept me laced they blessed me until I got to high school and that's when I became an individual and I had to buy all my shoes by myself if you haven't heard about that story go ahead and check the link above that describes my whole story of how I got started with shoes but since we are starting with the baby collection let's go ahead and dive deeper into the collection because Bruh, it's about 40 pairs of shoes right here, and I know it's gonna take some time, so let's get into it. Starting with the first shoe, I'm gonna have to go with the Metallic 5. These right here, OG, 1990. These used to be on my feet, one of my very first ever baby shoes that I had when I came out the womb, bruh. I had to keep these, my parents kept them for me, and I'm so happy that I was able to still have these in my collection right now, because they mean so much more to me. This shoe right here, Man, I couldn't even put a price on it. I love these things so much. We're gonna go to some other shoes. These are gonna start very soft, very light. And when I say soft, I mean with the soft bottoms. These are just some classic little dress shoes that I had uh, back in the 90s. My parents had got these for me just so I could stay fly if I ever had to go anywhere special or anywhere particular. I had to make sure I had these little dress shoes. Next up was some pro wings. Honestly, I don't remember seeing any photos of me wearing these pro wings. I don't know where they came from. I'm assuming that I did wear them because it looks like I wore these when I was a little kid. Gotta have the OG pro wings, man. I'm not mad at it. Since we're on the topic of shoes that I did wear when I was a little kid, I still have a couple pairs left. We ended up donating a lot of pairs when I was young, not knowing that they were gonna have a bunch of resale value and all these things like that. So I do have a couple pairs left. I have my hair sevens right here as you can see these have been to hell and back as you can tell this is probably that size when the kid first starts learning how to walk run play do all those things i put my work in to say the least going to the next shoe around that same time same era 1992 the bordeaux sevens bruh og another one these are fire i still love these i'm excited just looking at them like these in the hairs yeah i'm excited to give my kids these next up the air jordan 11 low ie og style Bruh, these things go crazy. Now these weren't mine in particular, but when I had the opportunity to pick them up for 20 bucks, I had to snag them back in the day. Another great one, the Olive 9 OG, bruh. These things are crazy. I saw these hanging in my cousin's rear view mirror, and as soon as I seen them, I was like, Cuddy, I need those. So she was like, nah, nah, nah. And then I finally, finally got them off of her. She knew they was going to a good home. They're still in good hands. Cuddy, if you see this, you already know I'm holding them down. My kid gonna be flying these one day too. Here's another one, the Airmore Up Tempo, the OG right here. Now this one was my little sister's when it came out back in the day. We can't find the other foot, but I ended up just keeping the left foot anyways, just because I just gotta have them anyways, might as well. It's like a cool little display piece. I mean, they're just so little, they're so icy, and I love this model. Here we have a Baby Sport box right here by Nike. As you can see, Baby Sport has a basketball with the pacifier and then the hoop on it. You got your lift off top right here. Honestly, I don't even know if this is the actual box for the shoes, but we're gonna say it is anyways. There's a tag on here, what's it say? Man, it just say athletic shoe. I don't even know. Where did this come from? Fred Myers, these came from Fred Myers. You got your little Hirachi joints right here. These things is fire. Sprite colorway, oh yeah. What? Now, I saw these retro and I knew I obviously had the OG version, but I was like, I gotta get a new updated version because as you can tell, you can see the difference between the two, huh? 
the shape, the form, and then obviously the condition of the shoe. Size 5C, bruh, the soles are yelling. I haven't even taken these out since I bought them. These used to be crispy and icy, but it is what it is. Time has flown. Wow, I remember when I picked these up back in the day. When these dropped, I knew I had to have a pair in the baby version, just in case if I had a little girl, she could stay fresh too. But I think this shoe is dope. I don't know what y'all think, drop a comment down below, but these are fire to me. So the Carmine 6 is literally just one of my top three favorite colorways for the Air Jordan 6, especially when it comes to the OGs and all that stuff. So for me, I was like, yeah, I need these. Next up, the Bread 13. Now, honestly, I don't really like how they did the midsole and outsole area with just the all black. I would have preferred if they had some more color to it, but it is what it is. I'm not mad at it. I know these are some good playground shoes for the kid with the black toe and everything like that. It's a Bread 13. You can never go wrong. So back in high school is when all the 11s started to retro again, and then they started to do baby pairs. And over the years, I started picking up the little versions as well. So as you can see right here, I have a Gamma 11 in a size size 7 and I ended up getting almost all the 11s in a size 7. I don't know why, for some reason I wanted to take a picture of every single 11 in the same exact size in the baby version next to the original versions, but that was my own little weird little fetish I guess or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> the fire red 3s, oh yeah, I don't even need to say nothing, yeah. Another Air Jordan 11, the infrared 11 low, 20, infrared 23 to be precise. <laughs> uh, again, just another cool little shoe. Might as well add it to the collection type thing. Got them for really cheap, so I couldn't pass it up. Concord 11 low, size 7 again, bruh. Now these right here, these are fire. Look at the purple bottom. And they're not even yellow one yet? Oh, baby. Legend Blue 11, size 7 again. Now, <laughs> it's an all-white joint, you know what I'm saying? So if we go to the all-white party with the baby, you know what I'm saying? They're going to pull up fresh, too. Bread 11, size 11. Now, these things is fire. This is the first retro, not the second retro. I was going to pick up all of them, but then once I started to realize, I'm like, bro, they're dropping all these retros again and again. I just decided to step off, stand back. I know the second retro looks a little bit different. This one has the Velcro strap and everything with the nylon and all I know I know but I just decided to stick with these I'm not gonna pick up the new ones Concord 11 high oh yeah you already know you seen the low I had to get the high I ain't pulled these out the box in a long time since damn near since when I bought them so just reminiscing looking at all this stuff right now it's kind of it's kind of cool I ain't gonna lie these have been sitting in the box for over 10 years literally haven't opened the box since oh. Oh. yeah space jam high oh baby yeah, I gotta stop saying, oh baby, because this is the baby collection type thing, but bruh, damn. Ooh, I forgot I got this one right here. Playoff 13, yeah, now see how they got the white bottom right here compared to the other one like I was talking about? I like this a little bit more. Obviously, it's gonna get dirty faster. Ooh, another one. Oh, last shot, 14s right here. I gotta make sure they always have the essentials because as you can see, these are all pretty much essentials for a sneaker collection and I gotta have the baby versions as well. Coming in in a 2C. Now I ended up doubling up on this one just because I like the soft bottom. And as you can see right here, I guess I could open it up if you want me to. But these ones have the, the light blue soft bottom on them right here, all white. Yeah, these things are fly. One of my more recent pickups right here, the UNC to Chicago Jordan 1 with the, bro, with the hard bottom, size 2C. Like, look at how little these things are. I had to cop. The leather quality, insane. Like, these things are fire. Red cement. You know how I feel about the adults version, so you know I had to get the kids version. Oh, damn, this thing's yellowing. These things are old. Wow, these are from like 2008. It's starting to yellow around the toe cap and around the heel. Starting to show some age. Playoff Jordan 9. So y'all remember, Jordan wore these in the Space Jam movie as well. And I feel like these are definitely an essential for the sneaker collection. So I was like, yeah, I gotta cop these. Oh, <laughs> bruh. I forgot I got these. Wow. The Wolf Gray 5s. Now they don't have the translucent sole, but they do have the little clear nets right here. But it's got the all white sole. The materials on these were actually nice. If anybody owns a pair of these, they would know. Okay, so now I purposely got these in a 10C because I knew by then that my, you know my kids was gonna feel like they was grown. You know what I'm saying? Walk around in a size 10C. They had to come fly, come fresh, you know, kindergarten days, stuff like that. Bruh, I am literally like going down memory lane like when I copped all this stuff because it's been so long since I had this like open the boxes and everything. I literally had these sitting in the corner for years. But these are the True Blue 3s right here. As you can see, they're gonna be fly. They're gonna be extra fly in these. 12C. Okay, so now these ones. I had to scoop because I was like, 
I think they're gonna need some slides. You know what I'm saying? We might go to the beach or something, chilling at the pool. Need some little Jordan slides. So I had to cop these with the strap on them. You know what I'm saying? Something a little random cop, but I'm not mad at these at all. These gonna be fly with the shoelaces and everything. These laces is gonna get dirty as hell when they're playing outside. I already know it. Damn, I'm gonna have to clean them. But it's all good though. It's all good. They're gonna be fly. This one right here, another staple. Cherry 13. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm happy with the collection so far. Like just all the stuff that we've been going through. I've been forgetting because I haven't caught baby shoes in a while. It's been a little, you know, I took like probably about five years off of copping baby shoes because I was copping way too many. I ended up having to give away a bunch of pairs. And then obviously my friends have babies and stuff like that throughout the years. So I end up giving them a pair because I always want to be that, that uncle or that big bro that always gave my friend their first pair of J's for their child. For some reason, that's just like my title and I always go for it. So any of my homies that always have babies, I wanna make sure that they got a fresh pair of J's. Infrared 6, this is my favorite Jordan of all time. So when I seen the baby version, I said I had to give it. I know they look terrible, but oh well, I still need them. He got games? We got all the 13s out here. I got like all the essential colorways. We got, what we got? We got the, we got the cherries, we got the playoffs, we got the breads, we got the he got games. I, I, oh, where's my flints? Did I give those away? Bruh, I gave away my Flint 13s. I forgot about those. Well, it is what it is. Somebody's fly out there. Somebody's kid is dope. Damn. I wish I would have kept those Flints, bruh. Oh, well. Okay, we got five pairs of shoes left. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you're reminiscing and having fun with me as well. If not, I'm sorry, but I'm just going through my entire baby collection like I said I would. That's the whole point of the video. And I hope this inspires you to have dope baby collections for your children as well. But anyways, I got five left. Three of these are samples. Four of these are samples. And then uh, one is just a GR. So these aren't baby shoes, but they are something that my kid could wear when they get into, you know, grade school or something like that. So I was like, might as well get these, strap them in the arsenal. The 20s right here with the ankle strap, you know, just in case if they decide to be a hooper, hopefully the soles don't blow out or nothing, but I think they'll be good. How do you feel about these? I really love this shoe. Like I love the 20s. That's like a love hate shoe for people. But for me, this colorway and this model, oh yeah, I love them. Okay, so now these are a size three and a half and this is a sample right here. Here's the sample tag for you to see. And uh, it has the sample, not for resale inside right here. I don't know if you can see it right there right here uh but basically the for the love of the games bro like i seen these in adult versions and i was like those are fire but i ended up getting these for free from a friend back in the day damn near 10 years ago probably longer whenever these came out and uh i was just immediately excited ecstatic about having these they're starting to age a little bit showing a little bit of yellowing and stuff like that but i think this is a dope shoe a nice little sample to have in the collection and uh i'm excited to see my kid rocking these and mess them up and Obviously it's a white shoe, so they're probably gonna ruin them. Okay, down to the final three. Let's open up this Ziploc bag real quick because this baby samples, I don't know if they still do, but I know back in the day they had the little sample tag here on the Ziploc bag, and then they came in their own little bags right here. That's how they kept them together because they didn't have like the laces or anything to keep them like tied together. But here's a sample of the Shadow 9 right here. And then I think these ended up did, I think these did come out to the public. I don't recall. What year was this? This was like 2000, fall of 2010 size 2c uh little sample right here so the kids is gonna be sampled up as soon as they come out the womb another dope little sample these did end up coming out to the public but i was happy to have these here's the little bag for them as well the tag got ripped off of them uh the sample not for resale the little i'm gonna see if i can get it for you guys right here but you should be able to see it in there right there sample not for resale type thing so this is another dope little sample right here cool gray 11 soft bottom with the white bottom these are fire i don't know about you but i think like having little baby samples and stuff like that it's pretty dope it's kind of unique and you know not everybody gets to have something like that for some reason every time i post a picture of these shoes people go crazy i get insane offers i have got offered hundreds of dollars for this shoe right here and it's insane because i never even thought that but i'm never gonna get rid of them or anything but this is a bread one hard bottom right here what, what year was this uh this is a sample Holiday of 2010, these never came out. And uh, it's got the sample not for resale tag right here on the inside as well. These things are crazy. It's got the Jumpman on the back, Jumpman on the front. So it's not the Nike Air era when it was, but it's the OG one high. Like this is so interesting to me because this was like way before it's time. And uh, I'm very happy to have these in my collection. This is probably one of my most prized, uh, more most valued 
Jordan shoe in my baby collection or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know, but the, basically these things are dope and a lot of people want them. I'm excited to have them and I'm looking forward to the day when I get to put these on my kid's foot and have them stomping around in a little pair of samples. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to y'all for showing love. Stay tuned for more videos, more content, more random different stuff like this, bro. I have so many different random different shoes and all this different stuff. I'm excited to crack these boxes open, tell stories, reminisce with you guys, enjoy these times. So with that being said, it's my time to go. My name is DJ, I'm signing out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm gone, peace.